The geologic time scale is a system of chronological measurement that relates stratigraphy to time, and is used by geologists, paleontologists, and other Earth scientists to describe the timing and relationships between events that have occurred throughout Earth's history. The table of geologic time spans presented here agrees with the nomenclature, dates and standard color codes set forth by the International Commission on Stratigraphy. Evidence from radiometric dating indicates that the Earth is about 4.54 billion years old. The geology or deep time of Earth's past has been organized into various units according to events which took place in each period. Different spans of time on the GTS are usually delimited by changes in the composition of strata which correspond to them, indicating major geological or paleontological events, such as mass extinctions. For example, the boundary between the Cretaceous period and the Paleogene period is defined by the Cretaceous a Euro Paleogene extinction event which marked the demise of the dinosaurs and many other groups of life. Older time spans which predate the reliable fossil record are defined by the absolute age. Terminology, the largest defined unit of time is the superon, composed of eons. Eons are divided into eras, which are in turn divided into periods, epochs and ages. The terms eonothem, erothem, system, series and stage are used to refer to the layers of rock that correspond to these periods of geologic time in Earth's history. Geologists qualify these units as early, mid, and late when referring to time, and low, middle, and upper when referring to the corresponding rocks. For example, the lower Jurassic series in chronostratigraphy corresponds to the early Jurassic epoch in geochronology. The adjectives are capitalized when the subdivision is formally recognized, and lower case when not. Thus early Miocene, but early Jurassic. Geologic units from the same time but different parts of the world often look different and contain different fossils, so the same period was historically given different names in different locales. For example, in North America the Lower Cambrian is called the Wow Common series that is then subdivided into zones based on succession of trilobites. In East Asia and Siberia, the same unit is split into Alexian, Atdalbanian, and Batomian stages. A key aspect of the work of the International Commission on Stratigraphy is to reconcile this conflicting terminology and define universal horizons that can be used around the world. History and Nomenclature of the Time Scale In ancient Greece, Aristotle saw that fossil seashells from rocks were similar to those found on the beach and inferred that the fossils were once part of living animals. He reasoned that the positions of land and sea had changed over long periods of time. Leonardo da Vinci concurred with Aristotle's view that fossils were the remains of ancient life. The 11th century Persian geologist Avicenna and the 13th century Dominican bishop Albertus Magnus extended Aristotle's explanation into a theory of a petrifying fluid. Avicenna also first proposed one of the principles underlying geologic time scales the law of superposition of strata, while discussing the origins of mountains in the Book of Healing in 1027. The Chinese naturalist Chen Kuo also recognized the concept of deep time. The principles underlying geologic time scales were later laid down by Nicholas Steno in the late 17th century. Steno argued that rock layers are laid down in succession, and that each represents a slice of time. He also formulated the law of superposition, which states that any given stratum is probably older than those above it and younger than those below it. While Steno's principles were simple, applying them to real rocks proved complex. Over the course of the 18th century geologists realized that, sequences of strata were often eroded, distorted, tilted, or even inverted after deposition. Strata laid down at the same time in different areas could have entirely different appearances. The strata of any given area represented only part of the Earth's long history. The first serious attempts to formulate a geological time scale that could be applied anywhere on Earth were made in the late 18th century. The most influential of those early attempts divided the rocks of the Earth's crust into four types, primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. Each type of rock, according to the theory, formed during a specific period in Earth history. It was thus possible to speak of a tertiary period as well as of tertiary rocks. Indeed, tertiary, 
and Quaternary remained in use as names of geological periods well into the 20th century. The Neptunist theories popular at this time proposed that all rocks had precipitated out of a single enormous flood. A major shift in thinking came when James Hutton presented his theory of the Earth. Or, an investigation of the laws observable in the composition, dissolution, and restoration of land upon the globe before the Royal Society of Edinburgh in March and April 1785. It has been said that as things appear from the perspective of the 20th century, James Hutton in those readings became the founder of modern geology. Hutton proposed that the interior of the earth was hot, and that this heat was the engine which drove the creation of new rock, land was eroded by air and water and deposited as layers in the sea. Heat then consolidated the sediment into stone, and uplifted it into new lands. This theory was called Plutonist in contrast to the Neptunist flood-oriented theory. The identification of strata by the fossils they contained, pioneered by William Smith, Georges Cuvier, Jean Domelius Deloy, and Alexander Brogniart in the early 19th century, enabled geologists to divide Earth history more precisely. It also enabled them to correlate strata across national boundaries. If two strata contained the same fossils, chances were good that they had been laid down at the same time. Detailed studies between 1820 and 1850 of the strata and fossils of Europe produced the sequence of geological periods still used today. The process was dominated by British geologists, and the names of the periods reflect that dominance. The Cambrian, and the Ordovician, and Silurian, named after ancient Welsh tribes, were periods defined using stratigraphic sequences from Wales. The Devonian was named for the English county of Devon, and the name Carboniferous was simply an adaptation of the coal measures, the old British geologists' term for the same set of strata. The Permian was named after Perm, Russia, because it was defined using strata in that region by Scottish geologist Roderick Murchison. However, some periods were defined by geologists from other countries. The Triassic was named in 1834 by a German geologist Friedrich von Alberti from the three distinct layers of Euro red beds, capped by chalk, followed by black Chalisa Euro that are found throughout Germany and northwest Europe, called the Triers. The Jurassic was named by a French geologist Alexander Brogniart for the extensive marine limestone exposures of the Jura Mountains. The Cretaceous as a separate period was first defined by Belgian geologist Jean Domelius de Loy in 1822, using strata in the Paris Basin and named for the extensive beds of chalk. British geologists were also responsible for the grouping of periods into eras and the subdivision of the tertiary and quaternary periods into epochs. In 1841 John Phillips published the first global geological time scale based on the types of fossils found in each era. Phillips' scale helped standardize the use of terms like Paleozoic which he extended to cover a larger period than it had in previous usage, and Mesozoic which he invented. When William Smith and Sir Charles Lyell first recognized that rock strata represented successive time periods, time scales could be estimated only very imprecisely since various kinds of rates of change used in estimation were highly variable. While creationists had been proposing dates of around six or seven thousand years for the age of the Earth based on the Bible, early geologists were suggesting millions of years for geologic periods with some even suggesting a virtually infinite age for the Earth. Geologists and paleontologists constructed the geologic table based on the relative positions of different strata and fossils, and estimated the time scales based on studying rates of various kinds of weathering, erosion, sedimentation, and lithification. Until the discovery of radioactivity in 1896 and the development of its geological applications through radiometric dating during the first half of the 20th century which allowed for more precise absolute dating of rocks, the ages of various rock strata and the age of the Earth were the subject of considerable debate. The first geologic time scale that included absolute dates was published in 1913 by the British geologist Arthur Holmes. He greatly furthered the newly created discipline of geochronology and published the world-renowned book The Age of the Earth in which he estimated the Earth's age to be at least 1.6 billion years. In 1977, 
the Global Commission on Stratigraphy started an effort to define global references known as GSSPs for geologic periods and faunal stages. The Commission's most recent work is described in the 2004 Geologic Time Scale of Gradstein AL. A UML model for how the time scale is structured, relating it to the GSSP, is also available. Condensed graphical timelines The following four timelines show the geologic time scale. The first shows the entire time from the formation of the Earth to the present, but this compresses the most recent eon. Therefore the second scale shows the most recent eon with an expanded scale. The second scale compresses the most recent era, so the most recent era is expanded in the third scale. Since the quaternary is a very short period with short epochs, it is further expanded in the fourth scale. The second, third, and fourth timelines are therefore each subsections of their preceding timeline is indicated by asterisks. The Holocene is too small to be shown clearly on the third timeline on the right, another reason for expanding the fourth scale. The Pleistocene Epoch. Q stands for the Quaternary Period. Millions of years, table of geologic time, the following table summarizes the major events and characteristics of the periods of time making up the geologic time scale. As above, this time scale is based on the International Commission on Stratigraphy. This table is arranged with the most recent geologic periods at the top, and the most ancient at the bottom. The height of each table entry does not correspond to the duration of each subdivision of time. The content of the table is based on the current official geologic time scale of the International Commission on Stratigraphy, with the epoch names altered to the early late format from lower upper as recommended by the ICS when dealing with chronostratigraphy. Proposed Precambrian Timeline the ICS's Geologic Time Scale 2012 book which includes the new approved time scale also displays a proposal to substantially revise the Precambrian time scale to reflect important events such as the formation of the Earth or the Great Oxidation event, among others, while at the same time maintaining most of the previous chronostratigraphic nomenclature for the pertinent time span. Hayden Eon, 4600 Euro 4030 MYA, Chaoshan Era 4600 Euro 4404 MYA, the name alluding both to the mythological chaos and the chaotic phase of planet formation, Jack Hilshen or Zirconian era, 4404 Euro 4030 MYA, both names allude to the Jack Hills Greenstone Belt which provided the oldest mineral grains on Earth, Zircons. Archean Eon, 4030 Euro 2420 MYA, Palo Archean era, 4030 Euro 3490 MYA, a Castan period, 4030 Euro 3810 MYA, named after the Acastan Ice, Isuan period, 3810 Euro 3490 MYA, named after the Isua Greenstone Belt. Masokian era, 3490 Euro 2780 MYA, Valbaran period, 3490 Euro 3020 MYA, a portmanteau based on the names of the Capval and Pilbara Cratons, Po and Golan period, 3020 Euro 2780 MYA, named after the Pongola supergroup. Norarchian era, 2780 Euro 2420 MYA, Methanian period, 2780 Euro 2630 MYA, named for the inferred predominance of methanotrophic prokaryotes, Sidrian period, 2630 Euro 2420 MYA, named for the voluminous banded iron formations formed within its duration. Proterozoic Eon, 2420 Euro 541 MYA, Paleoproterozoic Era, 2420 Euro 1780 MYA, Oxygenian Period, 2420 Euro 2250 MYA, named for displaying the first evidence for a global oxidizing atmosphere, Jatullian or Eucaran Period, 2250 Euro 2060 MYA, Names are respectively for the Lomagundi Jatuli I-13C isotopic excursion event spanning its duration, and for the first fossil appearance of eukaryotes, Columbian period, 2060 Euro 1780 MYA, named after the supercontinent Columbia. Mesoproterozoic era, 1780 Euro 850 MYA, Rodinian period, 1780 Euro 850 MYA, named after the supercontinent Rodinia. Stable environment. Neoproterozoic era, 
850 euro 541 MYA, Cryogenian period, 850 euro 635 MYA, named for the occurrence of several glaciations, Ediacaran period, 635 euro 541 MYA. Shown to scale. Compare with the current official one. See also, notes and references. Further reading, Aubrey, Marie Pierre. Vancouvering, John A. Christy Blick, Nicholas. Landing, Ed. Pratt, Brian R. Owen, Donald E. And Ferrosky of Villafranca, Ismail, Terminology of Geological Time, Establishment of a Community Standard, Stratigraphy 6, 100 the Euro 105, retrieved November 18, 2011. A, Gradstein, F. M. and Og, J. G., A Geologic Time Scale 2004. Why, how and where next? Retrieved November 18, 2011. Uh, Gradstein, Felix M. Og, James G. And Smith, Alan G., A Geologic Time Scale 2004, New York. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press, ISBN A 0 521 78142 6. Retrieved November 18, 2011 A paperback ISBN 0-521-78673-8A, Gradstein, Felix M., Og, James G., Smith, Alan G., Bleeker, Wouter and Lawrence, Lucas, J., A New Geologic Time Scale, with special reference to Precambrian and Neogen, Episodes 27, 83 Euro 100. Retrieved November 18, 2011. A, Noel, Andrew H., Walter, Malcolm R., Narbon, Guy M., Christy Blick. Nicholas, A New Period for the Geologic Time Scale, Science 305, 621 Euro 622, doi, 10.1126/science 1098803, PMIDA 15286353. Retrieved November 18, 2011. Uh, Levin, Harold L., Time and Geology, The Earth Through Time, Hoboken, New Jersey, John Wiley and Sons, ISBN A 978-0-470-38774-0, Retrieved. November 18, 2011. Uh, external links, NASA, Geologic Time, GSA, Geologic Time Scale, British Geological Survey, Geological Timmer Chart, GeoWin Database, International Commission on Stratigraphy Time Scale, Chronos.org, National Museum of Natural History, Geologic Time, Sea Grid, Geological Time Systems Information Model for the Geologic Time Scale, Exploring Time from Planck Time to the Lifespan of the Universe, Episodes, Gradstein, Felix M. A. L. A New Geologic Time Scale, with special reference to Precambrian and Neogen, Episodes, Volume 27, Number 2 June 2004, Lane, Alfred C., and Marble, John Putman 1937. Report of the Committee on the Measurement of Geologic Time, Lessons for Children on Geologic Time, Deep Time, A History of the Earth Interactive Infographic.